I had to stick down my neck. Did it, did it. We're off. Up to do a small hill. God. Small hill. <laughs> I've led to believe there's a helicopter pad waiting with a helicopter on it waiting. And an escalator. For us. And an escalator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a cable car. Cable car. Got me drunk in the pads. We had a turbo pint as well. Uh, we might have had two. Where are we going, Warren? We are off. We're at Hayfield. Hayfield is a lovely place, and we are off to the western edge of Kinder, the Kinder Plateau. Overnight, wild camp on top. We are, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes into our journey and already, look at it over there. This is the glorious Pig District. And I think we can see pretty well where we're gonna go. We're gonna go, we've got a bit of up to do here. Shh, don't tell Dan. A little bit more up here and we're gonna go round. That's that peak which we could actually camp on. We're not going to unless it absolutely hammers it down. The forecast is, is clearing and it's already fairly dry. So we're gonna go around in the mist. Kinder Low is, well, there somewhere. Might be just behind that green bit. Kinder Low, round. Yes, Kinder Downfall is actually, it's just clearing a little bit. Kinder Downfall is just beyond there. Lovely. And then tomorrow morning, off the top, around, can't see exactly where, probably just over the other side there slightly, down, round, and back down to Hayfield tomorrow. Too early for a pint at the Soldiers Inn, but we'll move on and on to uh, Castleton. We've got a bit of walking to do yet though. Mr. Camp Life Bushcraft, we're out together as a Duo. As a duo, it's good. There's a nice knobbly bit which I still can't remember the name of, just there, just yonder. And we're going to go, it's all in clag, but we can see where William Clough comes down, just there. Right. You see the down bit, you see the high bit? Yeah. That's where I'd like to camp tonight. You see the like dead straight bit? Mm -hmm. We go dead straight, dead straight. And we, I, I really like to continue along that dead straight bit, flat bit, yeah. until we get to that kind of end. Well, if you can keep up with me. Yeah. If I can, yeah. I'll try, if I can keep up with him. He's good. He's, he's good. He's, good. he's here always. He's, he's that good. <laughs> and then you can see William Clough. Can you see it kind of down? Brian and Clough's then brother. Brian Clough, William Clough, down. And then, See that light bit of like grass? We go over the top of that. There's a reservoir in there. And then we go down and around. Oh, it's lovely. Would be too early. Yeah, I do say, because I am right. <laughs> I am, I am right. Because I've been up, but we know, don't we? William Clough route. But can't see Kinder Dan Force yet. But it's just down there. Can you see it? No, no. not yet. <laughs> Little cow's looking at me. Little brown cow. <laughs> oh look, we're going down. That's not very good, is it? Do we need to go down? Unless this is a zip line. Uh, no zip line. There are no zip lines. It's great being out in the hills. Love it. I was a bit worried earlier on, buzzing up the M1, that this bit of our walk was going to be, oh, clagged out, wet, yuck. I don't mind the rain, but it puts a damp, <laughs> puts a dampen on it, yeah. Puts a dampen on it a bit, but no, it's nice and breezy. There's a bit of clag on the high ground, but that might clear, who knows. But it's dry. Oh, so much better when it's dry. 
and we may actually get to the uh, the ridge up here before before it rains it may not even rain who knows <laughs> oh, I'm tired Warren yeah why did you make me have that second beer oh it's my fault <sighs> sorry I mean yeah let's go <laughs> We are slowly, slowly, step by step, gaining height and kinder low end, the little kind of sticky addy bit towards Hayfield is just here on the left, all the way around. Edale is way over ahead of us. We won't be uh, going in that direction all the way. Uh, we're turning left soon, but uh, Edale Valley is ahead. All the way around to the right there, is Brown Knoll. It's been a long time since I've been up and over Brown Knoll. A few years ago they added a load of those uh, paving slabs which makes that route so so much easier. Just look at that lovely purple heather. Isn't they gorgeous? There's a lot of it in the Peak District at this time of year. I don't know how long it'll last. It's nice to see it. There we are, Edale Cross. Oh, I've never seen this cross before. I've heard about it, seen, seen clips of it on other channels. But this is a medieval cross, a monument of national importance. There we are. It is glorious, it's well weathered. So how old is medieval? Old. And it's a good marker stone. It's, it's sort of at the threshold of the coal here between uh, the Hayfield side and on to Manchester and then Edale and then on to Stockport so maybe that was some ancient trackway we're going up there I'm running so My oh my, we've uh, ducked down behind the rocks here. This is Swine's Back, I think it's called, which is kind of a, a series of rocky bits just overlooking a glorious view in front here. Looking around to my left, we've got uh, no stool, pim chair, what are those, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, wall packs and then crowd and tower. So that's all around the sort of southern edge of Kinder Plateau, overlooking Edale, the Vale of Edale, and beyond, my goodness, and down there, down that route down there is um, Jacob's Ladder. So that's the top of Jacob's Ladder, right down there, where that little can, little can is, big can. What a fantastic collection of views. I've never been here before not this corner so it's uh, one to tick off the list we do need to crack on we've got another hour oh, hour and 20 minutes at least depending on video stops or windy but we're gonna head on past Edale Rocks which is next up there Rocks 
overlooking the lovely Edale Valley. It is glorious. That rain hasn't yet come through, so we might be still lucky. So, no stall, pim chair, and then Crowden Towers just there. I haven't been that way for, oh, at least a year, 18 months, I can't remember exactly. But uh, the last main walk that I did in this area was the complete Kinder Plateau Rim trek. I don't know if you've seen that video. Really enjoyed doing that. Two nights on top, all the way around. Glorious. Next is uh, Kindalo. So Kindalo is just up here. I can't see the trick point. The trick point's just set back from the uh, the kind of bridge edge but uh, we'll have a little look around Kindalo and then we need to crack on we've got about an hour and a half left of light and probably an hour's still an hour's worth of walking so we're okay but no time for dilly dallying sure we will though up we go Kinder low and it's remained dry which uh, we're lucky about because it is looking very threatening over yonder as he falls over Lovely. It's hard not to get excited. Kinder Reservoir. Not very big, is it? But uh, nestled in there. Nice. Lovely. We do have to press on. More to do. Ooh. Yeah. That's a good little spot for uh, pitching up a couple of tents, yeah. protected. Yeah. I've camped oh, a couple of years ago when I did the Kinder Circuit. I camped just up here uh, in the snow, if I remember. That was awesome in the snow. in that little brook speaks for itself the brook's called Red Brook I've never seen so much uh, coloured water actually in the little brook before hey 
Hey, nice. That's the most water I've seen in Kinder Downfall for years. It is windy, but the wind is just more northerly. So there's not enough westerly in it to, to blow, blow the water up in the air, which it quite often does. Well, kinder downfall. Amazing amount of water. Oh, I like that. I'm pleased. And it's good that Dan, for his first visit, has seen kinder downfall with lots of water. Well, quite a bit of water in it. We're pushing on the best we can. We've made good progress. We've done blinking well, really. Uh, there's about half an hour of light left, plus a bit of twilight, but half an hour of reasonable light and I'd like to get to Sandy Hayes which is still 20 minutes I think pretty well uh, yeah that's all right otherwise we just find a bit of space for uh, for two pitches I'd like to see the twinkly lights of Manchester and Derwent uh, Reservoir that'd be nice be nice to have a view so if we can just crack on just another 20 minutes that'd be lovely <laughs> fantastic view kinder reservoir little diddy reservoir Ah, we made it. It's been a trek. Left it a bit late to pitch, really. It's uh, it's after eight now, so the main light's gone. But there's enough light just to see. We're gonna get some food on now. And a beer, and a beer. <laughs> we are snuggled down in our tent. Dan's just over there somewhere, I think. In the... Are you there? You are there, just Hi. about. Uh, we've got food going. Uh, it's one of those uh, rehydrating foods I've got. Um, the pulled pork one I've got. See what that's like. I've not used that one before. Beer is on the go. We enjoyed that. And some nibbles, Pringles, and uh, Dan got some nut, uh, kind of honey roasted nuts, which have really got us going nicely. Uh, we're in. It's a bit blowy, not too bad. Temperature, okay. I'll show you some food in a minute. We're just chilling and relaxing 12 kilometers 12k we've done uh, today so yeah, pretty good really i think overall and we've avoided the rain the mist cloud came in oh just the last 20 minutes or so of us um, setting up but uh, didn't affect us too much we just about found uh, enough space for two tents two actos uh, together uh, food time Well, I am making good progress with eating this. It is a large portion. I don't know. Is it growing on me? Mm, good flavour. Good texture. But I like a little bit of gravy, a bit of kind of goo. And although there's enough water in it, I made sure there's enough water. And indeed, it's not dry. It's not actually dry. There's no goo. There's no sort of gravy with it. So it's... it's mm, it's kind of hard work to get through. There's bits of red onion, nice. And really good bits of meat. Oh, look at that. That's a decent bit of pulled pork. Mmm, it's good. But for me, it needs a bit of gravy. Or barbecue sauce, yeah. It is the fire pot, barbecue pulled pork, 
the extra large version. Get warm uh, using one of James, uh, James's pouches here, Sussex Outdoors. I bought this one a week or two back from Cole, Outdoor Gear Essentials. Shipped it through the post really quickly for me. Does a good job keeping, keeping the food hot. Apple pies, or apple crumbles. Actually, they are still mostly apple pies. Mm -hmm. They've traveled well. <laughs> mostly set up. Uh, with my gear for sleeping. I've got my uh, old snug pack sleeping bag. It's good for down to about uh, five degrees. It's gonna be well above that, even up here on the hills. Uh, I've got my Flextail Zero pillow, which uh, is absolutely my number one go-to pillow. And uh, my trusted uh, Neowear Thermarest. Got a couple of others, but uh, this is my go-to one. I find it very, very comfortable. I'm in pretty well. Gonna zip up in a bit, say goodnight to Dan. We're not gonna do too much more, I don't think. Rest, sleep, and uh, look forward to a little bit more walking tomorrow. <laughs> Night. Good morning. Uh, it's a bit claggy and then it clears. There was a few moments of sunshine a few minutes ago. We're up, just about struggling. <laughs> uh, didn't have the best night's sleep, slept some, slept some. What more can you expect really? There's a huge great mound in the middle of my bed area, but whatever, had enough kip. Breakfast is on, Dan's kindly making me a coffee. Uh, and I've used one of these um, uh, ration heaters to get my uh, wet breakfast uh, hot and ready to eat. Pockets, little packets of gear, this, that, and everything else. Lots of tidying up. We're off ah, in a minute. Glorious morning now. When I first looked out of my little window in the tent, oh, about half past five, six, before it was, before the light was up, sun was up. It was clagged completely, a bit like it was uh, at sunset time. But uh, when the sun came up. It just cleared all the clag. I must say it's not warm. I've got lots of layers on. Can't see kid the downfall of course, it's tucked around the side. But there's that lovely panoramic view with uh, the little mermaid's pool and then Kinder Reservoir. And all the way around and we can see most of the route that we're going to follow down. Uh, William Clough is just behind the uh, the brow there and we're going to take that long diagonal path past the reservoir round and into Hayfield. Uh, we won't be pushing it, should do it quite quickly but a couple of hours more probably just easy goes. I just want to be through Castleton by midday really so loads of time. Go. We're off. It's just before. 
before nine o'clock, I think. So we will head up and around and find the top of William Clough. Biting wind, but hey, who cares? I might even put some gloves on. Autumn is coming. We ended up beyond Sandy Hayes. I was aiming for Sandy Hayes uh, for our stopping point last night, but we ended up, but I, I didn't realize until looking around at the contours just now, um, that we actually went to the little tip just beyond Sandy Hayes. Ideal spot, one to remember for the future. Oh, I've camped up here quite a few times over the years, but I've never used that uh, end spot there before ideal view vantage point looking over uh, Kinder Reservoir and Mermaid's Pool and of course uh, Manchester, the lights of Manchester, we didn't see much of that last night onwards just taking the corner cut off path just missing the uh, the wooden post there and on up that way is up to Mill Hill and I was uh, top of Mill Hill oh earlier this year uh, late late winter time early spring I think um, up from Glossop and Harry Hut that was a good round that was a two-day trip We can look back at our uh, camp spot right up on top. As Dan has correctly pointed out, there was a shortcut path, but <laughs> I, uh, I omitted that from the itinerary because I just wanted to come back down William Clough again and show him. He's ungrateful. Me. He's trying to kill me. Yeah, he's ungrateful. What William so Clough, I thought, would be a highlight. All I've had is complaints. And singing. <laughs> and singing. Lots of singing. Actually, quite good thing. Oh, this is a beautiful spot. Looking down on the little Kinder Reservoir. See a good uh, view of our route. We came up yesterday afternoon, just the other side of that uh, little ridgy mound there. Up, join the high level ridge all the way along, all the way along. Red Brook, you can actually see where Red Brook, the scar of Red Brook is. And then uh, Kinder Downfall in that V cut. Can't see the water, but. And then all the way around up to uh, Sandy Hayes and the uh, kind of little end bit that where we camped last night. Brilliant. And then all the way around, up and over around, down to that uh, cut off triangular bit with a wooden post at the crossroads. Mill Hill straight on. And then William Clough. We're almost back. Another oh, half an hour, 45 minutes. On. We're on the snake path now. Off on the way back to Hayfield. Are you still there, actually? Or am I talking to myself? Oh, you are there. Thank you. Well, hit the like if you've uh, liked this video. You won't have liked it as much as I have been enjoying doing it. It's been great. Mr. CLB. It's a broken mirror. <laughs> he says he's done well. 
hayfield and then a pint somewhere we're off thanks for watching and bye for now